Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, it's the Farts and Crap Show. Uh, Danjo here, and um, today we're doing more of Pokemon Sword Revisited. Um, I've uh, got a bit of a headache. It's not, it's not great. Um, it's part 51, by the way, and uh, really didn't sleep well last night at all, so I'm hoping um, I'm hoping for a better night tonight. Night's gonna be a good night. Um, but yeah, so gonna go back to Stow Inside, which actually we're already here. Um, because I already went to Bellonlia, fought Bidet, and then we're gonna go to Hammerlock, and then Sir Chester, and then I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Uh, but yeah, I'm using a GameCube style controller today. Because I thought, meh, try it out. Oh, it's B, that's right, I knew that. I knew that. And I don't remember what voice I gave her. Um, There's probably something like, uh... Hmm. I think it's pretty, uh... I think it's pretty vanilla, actually. It's like, um, um, you all, did you come to lend us a hand? No, just kidding, it wasn't, it wasn't that. Uh, it was a bit more tomboyish. Um, <sighs> uh, uh. hmm, that was nice. Uh, I've been thinking about doing that. Just having a belch somewhere in the beginning of each video I do. Um, <laughs> I could just hear, like, most of <laughs> Everyone in the audience just, like, face palming like, really hard. Just, like, psh, like audible slap. Um, hmm. You all, did you come to lend a hand? Uh, lend us a hand? Eh? Nope. That's, um... Uh, that's, uh, that's what's her name? Man, I'm doing terrible on names today. Um. Sonia, right. Uh. So you. Mm, you all. Well, I feel like she's written, at least in English, like, not very clearly. Like, her language doesn't really, like, match her demeanor sometimes, so it's... It, it always throws me off. It's kind of weird. Um... Also, I just realized my hat kind of, uh, makes it look like it's a chow hat, like, from Sonic Adventure. Or... Yeah, kind of a chow. Uh... Lend us a hand. You, you all, did you come to lend us a hand? Uh... Did you come to lend us a hand? Did you come... Did you come to lend us a hand? Oh, I think that's what it was. It wasn't, um... It was like my standard, like... Just girl voice, I guess. She was one of the non-British characters, I believe. Because I don't think she's supposed to be British? That's right. That's right. Is B. She's very straightforward and... Um, hardworking and kind of badass. Yes. Hmm. Uh, something like that. How are things looking? You just finished getting everyone to safety, so I was about to challenge the Dynamax Pokemon. Nice one. It's all work together. I give you my heartfelt thanks. We've got several opponents, so we may as well take one each. I'll be counting on you all. Here we go. Yeah, she's a sweetheart, but she can also kick 
So much ass. Oh, okay. That's what I don't get. Like, there, she says there's like four of them. Like, where, where are they? You know, like they're so huge. It doesn't really fit, I guess. N the narrative, the presentation doesn't um doesn't fit the um. Narrative dissonance? I think? Sure. Oh, yeah, we got a Whimsicott last screen. Yeah, yeah, last episode's called Whimsicott, that's right. Uh, fight, pure fighting. Um, which I should have figured, but, uh. Oh, Toga guess. That'll be four times resistant, right? Four. Flying and fairy, I think I think they both resist fighting, yeah. So Toki Kiss would be a good option here. Hmm. Yeah, things aren't looking too good. Togekiss's wings always like remind me of um like the the Mario 3 uh P wing. I know it's pretty different, but it's it's what it reminds me of, so. Uh gonna go with yeah, just Dynamax and Starfall. Yeah. I mean I I guess I could have used the airstream one to probably a bit better. Boost my uh, speed stat, but. Which one is Misty Terrain? Is that the one that prevents. Um... Uh, priority moves? Done already? Damn. Status conditions. Oh, grounded Pokemon. So that actually wouldn't help. Um, Togekiss. Doesn't it also increase the power of uh, fairy type moves? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, that's strange. So it's psychic terrain that eliminates uh, priority type moves. Okay. Can't thank you all enough. With your help, the Dynamax Pokemon of no, that's 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 Sony again. With your help, the Dynamax Pokemon have all been returned to normal. There we go. That's B. I'll keep them safe here in the stadium, so no one needs to worry. Creebles. Next time, I'll be the one who saves you in your hour of need. Give me a call if you're ever in a rough spot. There are other places that need champion's help. Please go out and look after them. I'll protect the peace of Stow Inside Stadium with all my might. Yep. She's a badass blade. Bite, 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 bite. She's a badass bite, 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 bite. Uh, Kribbles. We've got to help all the other places where these Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there's two Pokemon stadiums left to check. I'm not going to tell you which ones. You can just check your map for that. 
I'm just really good at math. We've done two, there's two left. Oh yeah. Don't worry about spike move because uh Yeah. Uh, looks like my Dynamax Purgeon is paid off after all. Town map. Map, map, map. Map, map, map. That was actually a lot faster than what I was expecting. A lot faster. Get on the bike. Get on the bike, get, get on the bike, get on the bike, bike. Bike D is a special individual pulling out knots and pulling the residual. Sonia, what are you doing here? Oh, Creeples. Someone saw those sword and shield weirdos. They said they cut through the door. The door's closed with an electric lock. Opening it might take some time. Oh, so after I do the last two, I have to come back and talk to her again. Gotcha. By the way, Yamper is, like, way cuter in the anime. Um... And I like, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I said this before, but the... Oh, in the Japanese, the original version of the anime. Not the English dub, it's terrible. Um... And I like his... I like Yamper's Japanese name way better than the English one, uh, which is Wanpachi. Wan... Wan... Wanpachi. 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 I forget where the emphasis is. Which syllable, but Wampachi. And, um. Kind of makes more sense because he goes, he makes. The sound he makes is like Wampa, 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 Wampa. The way that he has, um. His little, like, bark. He'll, like, he'll. he'll Which makes sense, because a lot of Pokemon, like, say their own name for whatever reason. Like, I mean, Pikachu, obviously, is a Pika... ...whole thing. But some Pokemon, they're just like, Rah! You know? Anyway. Um... But most of the Pokemon that are supposed to be, like, kawaii, you know? Like, the cute ones. Um, most of them say their own name, like Jigglypuff, Clefairy, uh, Lucky, or Chansey, that is, um, Wapachi, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, uh, you, 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 you get it, you get what I mean, you get what I mean. It's funny, because even some of those Pokemon, like, when they evolve, they apparently forget how to do that, because Blastoise doesn't say Blastoise. Oh wait, actually he does in the anime, doesn't he? It's Blast. That's right. Yeah, actually some of the starters do do that. I guess Charizard goes like Char, but Charizard in Japanese is Lizardum. Um, which is like Lizard Dragon. Whatever. I think Charizard is a better name, but yeah, whatever. So, I don't know, sometimes the English names are really cool, sometimes, you know, the Japanese names I think are better, but... Anywho... And some of them are the same in both languages, like Pikachu. And Eevee, but... It's like Eebwee? 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 Anyway, no. Too tired for this shit. Uh, nice timing you lot. I forget. I forget how I did his voice. It wasn't Piers. It was different, I promise. It was probably something like that. The stadium is just about to reach its limit. There's simply too many Dynamax Pokemon running wild in there. Although it might look like there's only one. Uh... Seems Wishing Star Power is being used for some evil purpose. 
So that's what caused all this? That's a problem, all right. Hey, we sound kind of similar. But before we get that sorted, we've got to do something about these Dynamax Pokemon. Glad we've got you all here now, though we've already done the bulk of the work. <laughs> Why are you guys do sound similar? Wait, where are they have too? Wrong Creeples? I read that as like, we're right here. We're right here to help too, Creeples. Anyway, whatever. We'll take care of this. I beat you right hand like three times. Fantastic. Look like we got our tail. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves together an unbeatable team. Well, Creeples is unbeatable. The rest of us have lost to her. Several times. Especially you, Piers, the way you battled me in the Champion Cup. I'm just gonna downplay Creeble's victory, like, I didn't lose to her multiple times. You really had my Dynamax Pokemon up against the wall. Things, uh, might actually go better this time if we split up our little band. Right, everyone split up so we can each take down one of the Dynamax Pokemon. Let's do it. Ooh, Haxorus. Haxorus has an incredibly high attack stat. He's pretty cool dragon design too. Not bad. Not too shabby. Um. So yeah, Lapras will be fine. Totally fine. It's super effective. Not even the... Not even the Vegas sense of a challenge. <laughs> it's like nobody else is back yet. It's like, hey, what the hell? <laughs> oh, they're still battling. You guys are the greatest. You really got me out of a tough spot here. I think I better snap to a quick one to remember this victory by. Man, they really like to make him look way tall. Like every angle, they're just like, hey, here's how tall Raihan is. I'll take care of the Pokemon that went wild. No need for you to worry about that. Creebles. Give me a ring if things should go to pot again. Here, another shot that makes me look way taller than you. You put the lead card in your album. I'm always happy to lend a hand if I can. The great Rahan is here for you anytime. And Piers, you and I have got a battle again. This time, no Dynamaxing for either of us. He's like, yeah, I don't do that, dummy. Wishing stars being used for evil. I assume you're all looking into who's behind it, right? Carry on, then. I'll take care of things here at Hammerlock Stadium. Oh, I get it, because Raihan is, is like, tries super hard to be cool. All that shit. Piers is like... Like a rocker guy. That, like also tries to be cool through his music, but mainly through being an edgelord, so <laughs> probably feels awkward that like 
Mm. Raihan is like, give me extra attention and stuff because of blah 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 blah. blah. Looks like most of his stadiums got the starting max problem sorted now. Let's keep up the pace, Cravels. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with Dynamax trouble left. Let's finish this already. Yeah. And Batman. Whoop. Whoop. Wampachi. Okay. Uh. Yeah, another thing about this game is you don't often have to, like, heal because, like, there are tons of points throughout the game where you get healed automatically, so I'm never sure if I'm supposed to actually go to a Pokemon Center or not because of, like, oh, hey, I did something in the story, so did I get healed? I don't know. And it's not like in previous Pokemon entries where it's very clear, like, they spell it out for you. It's like, oh, hey, thank you. Thanks to your Pokemon. Thanks for your assistance. Like, let me heal them up for you. And then it even plays the music like do 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 do. It's like there you go, all good to go. Do you understand what I did? I healed your Pokemon. <laughs> but still, like the way that people like mash through dialogue most of the time, they could easily like not get that, you know. But then they hear the sound and like, oh, I got healed. Dope. It's, it's just, it's nice, you know? Or if it's something that's, you know, blah, 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 blah. You could have, like, a, a canonical reason why. You know, be like, uh, well, power spots, Dynamax, and after you're done, you're... Pokemon are just healed. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I was at a power spot. I was like, I'm gonna go do a thing, so left the power spot. Now my Pokemon are healed. Yeah, yeah, something like that, you know? It's a little weird to me. You can't, like, walk around in this game with a D pad. Like, you have to use the analog stick. Like, why not just both? You, you know what I mean? I think Sun and Moon was like that. Is there anything else in this town? I already got the judge function. Uh, no, we're on a roll. We're on a roll, man. We're hitting like 10 minutes per. So gonna rock this out. Oh, rock. Right. Ah, fuck. Another guy that's like full of himself that I can't remember how he sounds. Get to, get to safety, you three. Who do you think you're talking to, then? We're here to help, not be helped. Oh, actually, I didn't realize who I was talking to. Because you're a nobody. Nobody. Crave was here so everyone can relax. I was just thinking about how to handle the Dynamax Pokemon situation and like my hair constantly getting in my face. Oh, that's what it was. That's right. I gave him a surfer brow voice, I think. I think that's right. With all of you here, we can each take one of them on. Let's hurry to the pitch. It's kind of lame how these are all the same except for Bell and Leo, which was, you know, unique. That was kind of cool. Uh, let's see, pure rock type. Uh... Oh, 
Okay, there we go. We're good. I guess just max guys here, sure. I'll do it. Yeah. Eh, I'm glad Lapras' ball is a netball. That's. Dish cool. I like it. Which I think that's actually been a thing for. since Gen 3, I want to say? Where, like, the different balls have, like, different little animations. Ah, uh, not quite one shot. That's okay. Damn. Oh, because it's super effective, right? Because I'm ice type. Gotcha. Gotcha, mate. I mean, I kind of thought my attack was going to one shot him, but it's all good. Why do I have Brian and... Oh, because in max raid battles, Surf, like, hits everybody. And in double battles, too, so I needed a water-type special attack that would only hit one target. That's right, that's right, that's right. Um, so it was either Brian or Hydro Pump, because I didn't have... What was the other option? That's right, I was gonna do some max raid battles off screen to try to get some like TRs and experience candies and like arm right or is it Ah, uh, what's the other move for Lapras that I was gonna get? Actually, isn't another one. There's liquidation, but that's physical. Uh, there's a whirlpool, but that one sucks. Hmm. I mean, there's Sparkling Aria, but it's only an egg move. I actually really like Lapras's Shiny. It's like the exact same, but like instead of the blue coloration, it's like kind of a kind of an indigo, kind of purplish, and uh. Yeah. It looks good, I like it. Hey, why have the... Oh. Oh. Uh, wait, has Lapras been in every game? Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I mean, not every game, but every generation. Oh, in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you can't actually acquire Lapras? Without doing a randomizer, or importing from a pre a different game like fire red and leaf green 
because at the time I don't think there was a way to trade from silver and gold to Gen 3, but I could be wrong, I'm not really sure. Uh, likewise, in Omega Rufy, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you can't acquire Lapras either. Um, let's Sword and Shield, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, Sun and Moon, uh, X and Y, Black, White, Black, White, 2, Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Fire red leaf green, gold silver crystal, red blue and yellow. Yeah, Lapras has been in every mainline game. Except for Gen 3. I mean, does it count if it's still in the code? <laughs> Because, I mean, it does exist in the game, you just can't acquire a Lapras in Gen 3. So that's kind of... meh. It's kind of meh. So every generation except 3. Whatever. That's fine. Nice work, everybody. It was her. Are they... Uh, I'm just... Sorry, I'm checking out. Just barely. Um, Battling Dynamics is pretty hard. We're in those are you cables. I do. And use compliments. <laughs> Shut your gold piece. Get the Pokemon battle, no need to worry. Creebles, they take my lead card. Well, oh, I forgot to check bees. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna contact you. I don't give a shit about you, Gordy. You are an afterthought, my dude. Well, I think it's all the stadium sold now. Didn't miss anyone, do we, Creebles? All's left is to catch the sword and shield weirdos. Yeah, follow him quick. We just started this all up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't Professor Sonia supposed to be looking for those two? Uh huh. Yup. That's your road and phone, Creeple. It's gotta be Sonia. It's me, Sonia. I called it. So, in Chipway, was getting hammer like a I know. I just saw you. Like, I had to go talk to Raihan. You were on the way. How. How are you supposed to possibly forget? Okay, I guess if for whatever reason you played you did some of the gyms and then stopped and then did something else for a couple days or whatever and then you didn't remember where like canonically in the narrative, you might need, like, a reminder, I guess? And it's possible that you wouldn't try talking to Sonia when you went there to the stadium, or if you just didn't see her, you just blast past her. It's possible. Right? Could be. Anyways... What's the other thing? I was gonna say, like... Frick. I remember later, but um, stay for the injury plant. Yeah, yeah, that's where they be able to get in here. Is that like, hey, my hammerlock? Do you even know where the phone? Let's get to Hammerlock Stadium. Mm-hmm. I remember because it just happened. 
town. Oh, I love this Sir Chester music. You know what? Yeah, screw that. Let's go back to Sir Chester. Um, because I'm gonna close out the video and uh, episode anyway. Same thing. Sir Chester has like some of the best like, mmm, chill ass music in the game. Hmm. Torkoal, could you shut the fuck up, please? What's his name? Uh, Junichi Masuda? Is that right? I don't know if that's the right guy. The guy who does music for Pokemon now. Um, and has been doing the music for Pokemon for like years. Um, Main composer for Pokemon is Junichi Masuda, yeah. Right. Uh apparently Toby Fox composed one of the songs for Sword and Shield. Junichi Masuda has been doing it for, what, like 20 years now or something? Which is super weird to me because, yeah, dude, the dude's 53. He looks like not that old. <laughs> like, seriously. Okay, right. Masuda is one of the original Game Freak um, founders. That's right, so of course he's been working on Pokemon since, like, the beginning. But I'm pretty sure he's been the composer for pretty much the whole time. I think? Is that right? Come on, red... Green composer. Junichi Masuda, yeah. Yep. So he's been composing pretty much all the Pokemon video game music since the beginning. Game Freak was founded in 1989, I guess? Just... I mean, that makes sense. I may have heard the story of, like, how Game Freak started as, like, a, a Satoshi Tajiri's, like, magazine and all that. Um, but yeah, that just so it's so strange but yeah every time I see Junichi Masuda I'm just like I know you're like in your 50s man but 
you look more like somebody in his 30s. Um, it's very impressive to me. Anyway, uh, I'm falling asleep though, guys. I gotta get going. Very tired. Um, sorry, I, it's, it's been a running thing with the past couple episodes of Pokemon. And, uh, but damn it, this music is good. This one is just, ah. Uh, I mean, the music for this entire game is good. Like, Pretty much every time I play a Pokemon game, I'm like, yep, this music is bumping. I like it. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about, uh, I don't know, Pokemon stuff, things in general. Whatever, leave a comment if you want, uh, like and subscribe if you liked and haven't subscribed. Um, if you liked the video and haven't subscribed. Uh, next episode, I will have had sleep. Um, hopefully good sleep, because I haven't had good sleep for like four days now. Three days. Four days? Yeah, about four days. So, it's, um, it's getting quite old at this point. And, uh, I just feel like I've been tired for like a week. But, um, yeah, things, stuff, but yeah, thank you all for being here, hope you guys have a good time, sorry I, um, keep forgetting the different, uh, voices I give characters, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of hard to keep thing, keep track of things like that, and it can't always just like. Anyway, things. It's pretty difficult uh, voicing a whole art of JRPG and like all the characters, like you know, giving the voices without repeating voices, especially trying to give like unique voices to different people. And uh, it's, 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 it's a challenge, but see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Many blessings on your journey, whatever it might be. And a very special thank you to these people that were so kind to check out the join button down below and um, choose to support the show a bit more directly by becoming a TFAX member. Um, Retro HD, Little Cranky Gamer, the Valis Draconis, and, um, you guys, and not just these guys, but everybody, you guys are great, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one, later.